Did you know that the iPad can be a powerful note-taking tool? Whether you're a student, a creative mind, or you're just someone that likes being organized, this video is for you. Today's video will be note-taking slash practicing on my iPad Pro with the app Notability. No promo. So if you would like to achieve some nice, well-written, organized note, keep on watching. So Notability provides many features including handwriting, recognition, audio recording, and PDF annotation. I've been using this app for almost two years and I've absolutely had no regret. Good notes. I've heard some things about Good Notes talking about you have to use another app to store this. No ability backs up everything. In order for me to achieve good looking notes, I use my Apple Pencil second generation. I got this from the Apple Store. You can get Apple Pencils from Amazon. You can literally get them anywhere. This is my iPad Pro 11 inch and with this one, I can literally just stick it on. That's the whole reason why I got this iPad, just for this little combo, this whole note taking stuff. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial on how to take notes. Come on now. First we're going to click new and then we're going to go down to the bottom. You can see where it says rule, grid, dot, import, scan template. So we're going to click on templates because I don't like using a white sheet of paper. I don't know if it's the ADHD within me, but I need some colour, you know what I mean? I just need some colour because we've got options. So I just choose something that's a little bit more beige. I think this is beige colour and as you can see above here some other templates and you can use calendars. I always use a calendar, you know, just to help me stay organised and it's kept digitally. So we chose a sheet of paper and I love it. It looks like something that you would see vintage notebooks and also what I like to do is so go back to template settings, I go on the dots or should I do grid? I forgot, which one do I normally do? I'm going to go with grid just to make it a bit more easier. Okay, so on grid and then here you can see the date. So I'm just going to edit the date and I'm just going to title it YouTube tutorial or something like that. But usually when I'm at school, I'll just title it the title of the um, presentation that my lecturer is showing me or I'll just title it the module title and then I put the week so it makes it so much easier for me to go back in my notes. On the iPad, you have the option to edit the squiggle. You have an option to change the style of the pencil and there's the normal one that I like to use for the day and there's also different options but yeah, as I said, I like to use the normal one. So I just zoom in in the corner and then I literally write today's date. 26th June 2024. And then you underline it, hold it, and then just like that. This is the important part with organizing and structuring out the layer of your page. So first what we do, we're gonna draw down a line and we're gonna do three columns. Okay, that was bad, let me try that again. So I just go down and literally divide it up in three. So you just spread them out, the columns. Sometimes one's bigger than the other, but that's all right, as long as you've got space for three. Oh, that was terrible. I like to put the title at the top. I should have done this at the start. I don't know why I did this after. I usually do this at the start, but it's cool. So I'm gonna write the title. We'll do the title as how to write on an iPad. I go back to the style of the pen and then I choose this little fancy squiggle. I make sure that I'm like in the middle. I usually do it lower. I'm just gonna rub out the top half of the line because it was supposed to be a bit, yeah, I did it too high, which is cool. Got our fancy squiggle. The setting of the pen is on the lowest one and then I just zoom again. So I just do how, that was a nice H. Zoom in a bit more so you have better access to the writing. How, and then you just, move along. I'm sure you guys can see that already. To take notes on a iPad. And just to like spice it up, I just 
put like lines there and then you can go on the highlighter section and then there's many colors i like the pastel colors or you can choose your own colors with the color wheel use a thin one and i usually use like the darkest color if you want to be a bit more fancier you can use a thicker highlighter just click on the option you want the color maybe go in with purple actually i'm going to go in it with the bigger highlighter setting purple's too dark i'm going to use pink we've gotten our title we've done the day we've divided up the columns now is actually the time where we take notes sometimes i take notes from a textbook or i take notes from a slide let's say we're taking notes from a textbook Let's say we're going to use the Bible because I do take notes using the Bible. So literally go back to the normal style pen and then so I'm just going to write here zoom creator of the universe creator of me and then afterwards let's write some more. So let's say it's another one, another paragraph for writing, walk with me, stay with me. I go back and then of course I highlight the most important part. So let's just say universe. Oh, so go back to the smaller one. I'm gonna change the color to pink. Create of the universe, creator of me. I'm gonna highlight me. Just written a few notes. I just. These are basically like bullet points. So what I do now is I just erase the first line just so it looks more tidier and it's more easier to see where we've written and it just looks far more organized. Like trust me, when this is full of notes, it will look way more organized than this. Notability, you can also as well type on there, but personally me, I prefer to handwrite because I just love using my pencil. You just have to use the pencil. That's the whole reason why we bought it. You can create different folders to split and organize your work. Title it, the name of the module that I'm doing. So like I said, again, looking back, I can just easily find it. On the app, you can write text if you um, don't really want to handwrite or you're just tired of handwriting. Just press this TT button and then type literally what you want. And again, you can literally make it all nice and you can literally highlight other fancy features as well. You can add images if you want. So you just put it here you can put it there you can adjust the size you can drag it wherever you want let's say let's put the images here and then as well i like to make my mood board so you can just add even more images and then you can like label them you can mind map them so yeah it's amazing and you can make this way more fancy and neater. Another feature that I absolutely love with the iPad is that you're able to split the screen. I'm not sure if you were able to split a screen on the iPad Air but I'm sure you're most likely to. I can't imagine that you couldn't. By splitting the screen you're able to also write your notes and you can also watch a video or you can go on a website, Google, if you have to research some notes and then you also have to write it down. So what you do is you go on the three dots and then you click split view. And then you go on Safari and then whatever you're researching should pop up. I don't know why the Wi-Fi is being slow. Write the notes from the split screen. Literally, and then just write whatever it is that you're studying just like that just like that the note taking app is really amazing you don't only have to study you can journal write your ideas your creative ideas you can even draw you can also write in any search bar and then it will auto make it into text so enough with the note taking tutorial now i'm just going to be speaking about other things about the ipad storage absolutely amazing actually i'll show you right now so i've been using this app almost two years it's taken 457.5 megabytes compared to YouTube has 6.78 gigabytes. 
it's one of the least things taking up much storage so that's a good thing about it doesn't matter what ipad you get personally me i don't think it matters if you're able to write take note doesn't matter if it's got a home button id touch whatever 11 inch i thought was the perfect size for me also as well i edit so i just wanted like a bigger screen 12.9 inch would have been nice i feel like it would have been too big for no reason ipad or paper ipad you can store your notes digitally so everything's kept sound and safe back in the day i was the girl with all the notes the the flash cards the, the textbooks i had papers all over my wall and it just creates so much storage a lot of mess five years later i don't even need the papers anymore if i just remember to delete something that i've written maybe two years ago i can honestly apple y'all should sponsor me i got the normal plastic screen protector but there's different types you can get this nice one that you can use and it just makes writing on the ipad much smooth not gonna lie when the screen gets hot it can be a bit uncomfortable writing on it you can get a screen protector with a paper like feel and it's just so much smoother i'm not gonna lie though sometimes i miss that pen and paper feeling i miss like having a little notebook get the paper screen so that's the end of the video i really hope you enjoyed this note taking tutorial and i hope i opened some insights about the ipad maybe that you didn't know if you have one already don't feel like you need to upgrade to a new one for those who already don't take notes maybe you can change change your ipad into a note taking powerhouse get busy and write 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 like this video make sure to subscribe and like and bye